brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're gonna be working with our 01 Ford Ranger 4.0 liter V6. We're gonna show you how to remove and replace your fan or your cooling fan clutch. These parts go together, they come out the same way. It's the same four bolts to change them out regardless of which actual piece you're changing or if you're replacing it with a whole new assembly. If you like this video, please click subscribe. We have a ton more information on this truck as well as many other makes and models. And if you need these parts for your vehicle, you can follow the link down in the description over to 1AAuto.com. Here are the items you'll need for this repair. We're going to remove this cover over the throttle body. Use a small Phillips head screwdriver to remove these two screws and a seven millimeter socket and ratchet for the bolt in the back. Remove the cover from the intake. We're going to use a flat blade screwdriver to loosen these two screw type clamps on our intake tube. We'll then wiggle the tube off of the MAF sensor in the throttle body and remove it from the vehicle. You'll also have to remove this breather line from the back. So we'll remove the intake tube from the throttle body and the MAF, pull it straight off the breather and remove it from the vehicle. Ideally, you'll want to use a 36 millimeter wrench or clutch fan removal tool to remove the fan clutch nut from the front of the water pump, but we're going to show you how to remove the fan clutch nut if you don't have the special tools. Your serpentine belt tensioner is located on the passenger side of the engine, just below the alternator. At the bottom, there's a 3 8 square drive, which we'll use the end of a 3 8 drive ratchet for. We're going to pull it clockwise to put more tension on the belt, as opposed to going counterclockwise like we would to remove the belt. And then we'll use a long 10 millimeter wrench to remove two of the bolts on the water pump pulley and get us some room to get a wrench on there and remove the clutch fan. We'll break the two bolts loose with the tension on and remove it the rest of the way by hand. Once the bolts are loose, you should be able to take them right out by hand. With the bolts out of the way, you can put a 36 millimeter wrench or an adjustable if you don't have one. Loosen the nut and remove it the rest of the way by hand. Remove the two 10 millimeter bolts at the top of the fan shroud, the socket and ratchet. Grab the fan and the shroud together. Pull up. and remove them from the vehicle. So we have a new plastic radiator fan from 1A Auto that we're gonna change out, but this process is gonna be the same regardless of whether you're changing your old clutch into a new fan or putting a new clutch into your old fan. We we'll use a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet to remove these four bolts. Remove the fan from the clutch. We can now either install our new fan onto the old clutch or put a new clutch into our old fan. Here we have our old radiator cooling fan that we removed from our truck and our new part from 1AAuto.com. As you can see, there are some aesthetic differences here, but the size of the fan and the direction of the blades are the same, so it's gonna go in and work just the way it should. We have a universal bolt pattern here, so this will fit a few different vehicles, including our Ranger. 
So this new fan from 1A Auto will go in direct fit, just like your original equipment, and fix you up right. Lay our fan back over our fan clutch. These smaller holes are the correct ones for our 01 Ranger. So we'll start those bolts off. Now this does sit a little bit deeper than our factory unit, so you are gonna have to lift up on the clutch here. It's not just gonna lay in flat like it did with our old one, but that's no big deal. The manual shows that these bolts can be torqued from 14 to 19 foot-pounds. We're gonna go ahead and torque them to 15. Just to be safe, it's only a 10 millimeter bolt. We're gonna torque these just the same way you would torque a wheel. I'm gonna go across and across this way to make sure it gets tightened down flat. It doesn't pinch on one side, rotate out of balance and create a vibration. We'll reinstall our fan shroud. It's a little tricky to sneak past the transmission lines. We'll lay our fan shroud back. Sneak our fan in. Reinstall it onto the threads on our water pump. You may have to physically turn the nut for the first couple of threads. You may have to turn the nut a few times by hand to get it started on the threads. Once it's going, we can spin the entire fan assembly to get it on the rest of the way. We'll set our fan shroud into the tabs at the bottom and reinstall the two 10 millimeter bolts at the top. Tighten the bolts down with a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. So we've got our 3 8 drive ratchet and our tensioner again. We're gonna turn that clockwise to put a little extra tension on the belt. Put our adjustable wrench onto the fan clutch nut. Tighten that down as best we can. Now we'll take that same wrench and rotate this around 180 degrees or so, whatever you need to do to get to the other two water pump bolts and reinstall them. We'll start our two 10 millimeter bolts in by hand. We'll put the tension back on the belt and snug up our 10 millimeter water pump pulley bolts. Reinstall the breather line in both ends of the intake tube to the throttle body and the air box. Tighten down the clamps with a flat blade screwdriver. Reinstall the engine cover. And we'll tighten down the front two screws with a Phillips head screwdriver and the rear with a seven millimeter socket. And you're ready to go. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos.